My name is Sherry Green and I teach sixth grade math here at Fisher Elementary. I have been teaching about 17 years. 14 of those years have been here. So many of the things that they learn, they get it that day. You know, it, it's pretty easy on especially something simple like that. But will they remember that a year from now or six months from now? So it's always nice to find an activity that's fun, makes learning fun that will also help make it stick. So that's kind of what they were doing. So they were doing a jump rope activity and then they were plotting their data. They had to go and um, write on their leaf and plot it next to the stem. And then we kind of go another step and do the mean, median, mode, and range just to kind of throw that in there with it rather than just stem and leaf, so. Teaching sixth grade, I'm blessed because you have an opportunity to make a difference, to impact, to form a relationship and a bond with them, and they come back and visit. You know, it's like the younger ones, I mean, the sixth grade is a tough, you know, but I, I just love it when they come back and visit. I love, one of the reasons why I am on social media is so that I can see them and become the person that they're becoming, you know, as far as whether they are you know, getting married or when they're graduating, and it's just, I love. And there are some kids that when you bond with, even the ones that are stinkers, you still love them just as much. And I just feel like I can make a child feel, I guess, um, like they can do it. Because I tell them all the time, I struggle being hearing impaired. I was born not being able to hear. So I have you know, 85% loss without my hearing aids. And the older I get, the more of a perk it is. But yeah, um, but anyway, I just, you know, I, just, I get it, you know? And I tell them, I go, it was a struggle for me, you know, growing up and, you know, back then they didn't make the hearing aids work as well. And so that was hard, you know, I had to try harder than others. And so those who struggle in math, and I'm like, it's fine, you know, you're just gonna be a stronger person in the end, you know? It will make you stronger. It's okay, you know, struggle here and there. And so you just got to, you know, believe that you can do it. And so I just feel like I work on that with them and um, I want them to think that they can do it. You have